It's magical. Consciousness is magic in itself. But to adopt the egocentric frame of reference means you have sacrificed your magic. Your magic powers lie in that consciousness which is beyond the scope of the ego. And so you can live a humdrum life that's very reasonable and probably deal with most of the forms of agony and suffering and barely muddle through and endure within that egoic frame of reference. But why miss out on the magic, on the miraculous? on the astonishing capacity of consciousness to transform the world, which is its own manifestation. Why be only a passive victim of a power so far greater than the ego that the only way to manage the forces of destiny is to become that one who harnesses those forces, not the one who is moved by it, who sets the waves in motion that cause the bubbles to crash against the beach. It is that power that you really are. Why sacrifice that for a life as an ego? whose fate is to die on a beach, having been bereft of all that you thought you were, until that moment where you pop back into the sands of time. The ego is a temporary phenomenon. It has no reality. It's a statue, an image, an object without life, without truth. Whereas who you really are is eternal and immortal and infinitely intelligent and loving and pure and beautiful. Why sacrifice all that by believing in the ego delusion? when simply through the sacrifice of that delusion, you gain everything, infinity, eternity, and absolute beauty, power, joy, all the things you are looking for within the ego and can never get is there waiting for you if you'll just pop that bubble of delusion. Today is a day set aside for reflection upon this question. You can live in your true self and have a blissful, fulfilling, life of wisdom and power. And union with the Supreme. Undescribable self who rules the universe. And realize you are that or you can lead a life of suffering within a frame of reference that you yourself know is false and is simply projections of your own unhappiness for having betrayed yourself that becomes anger at everybody else. Which kind of life do you want?
No one can force you to choose the life of a liberated being, and no one can stop you. You have the power, but the power comes from realizing the powerlessness of the ego and allowing that illusion to dissolve. Allowing the bubble to pop. So that the infinite self, the oceanic, eternal, unlimited Buddha nature, the Tao, Allah, the Ein Sof, all of the terms that every culture has offered to tell us what we really are and to encourage us to love that and go for it, all are in harmony, in unison, sending the same message to us, be free, be the infinite, realize the true nature of your God self. Every religion, every sage, every saint, every liberated being calls out the same message to us. Why do we not have ears to hear? Why do we refuse to come out of the petty into the great? Today is a day to reflect and to choose whether you will pass over the ego, cross through the Red Sea and into the Promised Land, climb the mountain of God and receive a new set of commandments and conquer the dark forces that have taken over that paradise that belongs to you and recognize those dark forces only as your own resistance to infinite love. May you reflect deeply, not from within the ego, but from that silence of the heart and recognize that the freedom that you are considering granting yourself already belongs to you. One does not really have to struggle against anything to receive these blessings except one's own rejection of them. There is no enemy but your own failure to release yourself from a self-created bondage that has no purpose, no validity, and no reality. May you all have the wisdom to choose freedom and heal yourself with the truth of who you are. <laughs>